Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith, and today, we'll discuss what's meant by the word heart. This is a human heart. It's a muscular organ which pumps blood to every section of the body through the blood vessels of the circulatory system. When the sections of the body don't get enough blood, they experience a loss of energy, a numbness, and eventually begin to die. We currently know this about the heart. However, in poetic language, the heart has a much more emotional connotation. It represents intense feelings, especially feelings of love and romance, or passions of various types, like when we say, he was broken-hearted. In some cases, it even represents the deepest desires of a person, as in the phrase, what I want in my heart of hearts. The Bible has a lot of verses that refer to the heart in a way that's clearly not purely scientific. Here are just a few. A sacrifice to God is an afflicted spirit, a contrite and humbled heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Psalm fifty nineteen. With all watchfulness keep thy heart, because life issueth out from it. Proverbs four twenty three. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Matthew 5, 8. Clearly, that last verse doesn't mean that people with clogged arteries can't go to heaven. It refers to the heart in a non-literal way, so it must be talking about feelings, right? Well, no, not at all. The emotional, poetic concept of the heart is not what's meant here. At and before the time of Jesus in ancient Jerusalem, they didn't think the feelings were from the heart. They thought they were from the guts or bowels. The heart, they thought, was the source of a higher function, thinking. These days, many of us believe that thinking happens in, or at least through, the brain, but back then, they thought it happened through the heart. Want some evidence? And there were some of the scribes sitting there and thinking in their hearts, Why doth this man speak thus? He blasphemeth. Who can forgive sins but God only? Which Jesus presently knowing in his spirit, that they thought so within themselves, saith to them, why think you these things in your hearts? Mark 2, 6-8 to eight. Twice in these verses we see a phrase like thinking in the heart. Now, this doesn't mean that thinking literally takes place in the heart, or even that Jesus thought it did. What it means is that the ancient Israelites thought it did for at least long enough that it became a common pattern of speech. So, when Jesus says that the clean of heart are blessed, he's referring to people with clean thoughts. When King David requests a pure heart, he's asking for his thoughts, not his emotions, to be purified by God. That's what the word heart means in the context of the scriptures. It means something closer to mind. Next, what is the promise of God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.